So what I want to show here is a, a, a start to what I call layer chain. Uh, it's really an effort to show patterns, uh, learning from the pretty well-known lane chain community. Uh, it's a framework that just has patterns around OpenAI or LLM models. We have to be more generic about it in patterns so that you can hook things together, chain things together, actions, um, prompt uh, techniques, and prompt optimizations. So in this case, I'm going to take this older site with great data, and you know, in this case, I'll I'll, I'll crawl it. So that's kind of like a a tool we can have because it's easy to write and make them pretty generic. That will crawl this data and grab it and put it into a database. Now using um, a, a vector database that uh, Postgres can act as. Uh, Redis, so many options. There's so many open source options, but I'm going to use Redis. Uh, and uh, you know I can just use that and take that data and put it in to the database. Now once I crawl that data I'm also going to show how to turn that incoming data into embeddings and a nice little trick where I actually take the HTML and I ask OpenAI to parse the data in a way that um, just separates it nicely because uh, the website had categorizations and whatnot and I wanted to see if I could pull that in because they were in the tables and sure I could have done that with some serious web scraping but I just handed it the HTML and asked it a question. Uh, so at that point, uh, with the with the help of the vector library uh, in the embedding and the um, OpenAI, uh, I could then put all that data in the database. And so when the user asks the question uh, in the input field, um, the system then says, "Hey, make this an embed, and then get the results of that embedding or vectors in." query our vector database to see what vectors line up with it. So I'll show how I did that. Uh, and after those vectors are found and all that content is found, I concatenate it all together into another prompt, which again, a lot of prompts struggles here because prompt sizing and whatnot really plays in this. And I'll talk about that as I go through how I did this. Um, like I said, it would take like four probably lessons here. Um, but after all those prompts got halfway decent, I was able to start communicating with OpenAI uh, using its chat API and to create a conversation with it. Now, even that gets a little tricky because in the database, I start saving messages. So I start saving the user's history based on a project, based on the user. So we pull in data, we put it under a project, um, we put all the questions of that user under that project, all our searching happens under that. So we have a very contextual uh, system here. And all this is open source. The repo's up there. I'm going to push all this code up there um, right after this. Um, but any, you know, as we build up a framework that does this well, uh, any uh, small business or whoever can just download it and use it. They can download internal documents, point it at internal websites, point it, you know, do whatever they need to do to collect the data and then ask questions around it. Um, now, by the end of this, I think you'll see too some of the questions. Uh, it gets tricky because um, you know you're asking questions that might be about the data or searching the data, and um, the better level to take this would be to when the question comes in, I ask OpenAI: Is this a question about the data that I should search, or is it a question um, you know about the data that you just need a lot of context about? And I guess my point is like how like how do you get to a point where from the question inputted to the answer, it's a lot of open AI and it's a lot of uh, the, the freedom that comes with that so we don't have to code everything and the user can have a good experience. Um, but yeah, I'll cover all that in the lessons, uh, the, the four or so videos to follow as I break this all down because this is really working um, and, and introduced uh, people to how they can start doing this and hopefully break out of this a bunch of patterns we can all just keep using and put together in this one um, kind of framework as examples and then or just use it um, as you go. All right, more later.